Hi there. So I'm in Wes's demo and Wes happens to have a box account and a box account embedded within his Salesforce demo account. I wanted to show you the very natural behavior upon how this functions to let you then determine if it will require additional customizations to fit your needs. So number one, I'm going to go to the standalone uh, file structure that he's got here. You can see that there's a folder named prospects. There's also a uh, West Master Demo, which is actually the name of his Salesforce org, and there's probably an entire structure of objects beneath that. But let's just exit out of that for a moment. You've got some standalone files. And for prospects, you've got a company name. And then when, within ABC, I might have some files. So the file path here is prospects folder, company name folder, and then files within that. I'm going to go into Salesforce. And presumably what I want to access here is an account record called ABC Company. Now, if you go to Box, you'll notice that the default location, and if you look at the path, is All Files, Westmaster Demo, Accounts, ABC Company, which is actually not where we want the files to reside, but rather reselecting the original file path, go to Prospects, find it and locate it. So the data is there. It's just not defaulting to this location because it doesn't know without any sort of script that this file within the originally established file structure in Box should map to this account record. Of course, if it's deal, it's the same concept. It's really a record matching sort of thing. So I could upload a file just to sort of at least show you the live um, connectivity or sync. Uploads the file within here. I'll go to my standalone, I'll refresh, and that Outlook document <clears throat> that I uploaded should be there. So no issues there with the syncing, just at the default. So the minute I navigate away and I navigate back, it's going to go back and default to that original root file um, directory and not the one where I last left off. So the question becomes here is, is this to either onerous from a clicking perspective, or is it subject to error where people won't, will forget to go back to here and reconnect it to the right file and work with that versus um, just accidentally uploading in that other root file. So the reason why that is obviously is that within each, and I believe it's there for context as well, um, within each record is the um, Salesforce creates its own file path. So if we went to the standalone, unless you actually moved your existing file structure into the way it's been set up here, there's ABC Company. And of course, this one should have nothing because this is the one that's root to Salesforce. So some things to think about is it makes sense for you to manage your box standalone to mimic the folder directory structure, which, which the way it works, it looks like to me, is the name of your Salesforce org, the object you're on, and then the record name. So in your case, if it was deal-centric, and I don't have, I don't think boxes. Oh, it is. Right, okay. But it wasn't. So you'll see that if it's not been created, 13th floor lease deal. So let's just quickly go here. So you see that there's a limited amount of deals in this version here. But if I say create folder, I'm using the Salesforce directory to sort of be the main system of record, if you will. So then I upload a file. And now when I refresh, I should see 13th floor deal with the attachment that I've just uploaded. Probably takes a second. There it is. So think about that. Let that marinate. It really is about do you want to inherit the file structure that Salesforce puts into place, or are you OK with your users possibly referring back to the original root directory and then selecting the folders that apply?